We briefly touched on viewing and downloading submissions in an earlier video. Let's now take a closer look. Submissions can be managed by clicking on this submissions button here, or if you are on the form, you can click on results. You can see all of the submissions in this table and it goes all the way off the screen to the right. And the reason for that is because of all of the elements. So you can imagine a form with 20 or 30 elements, the table is going to be big, but have no fear. You can customize this table. Just click on this customize button. And here you can turn the columns on or off. Now the items that are bold, those are actual elements and the rest of them are just properties on the submission. So let's just remove a few columns just to tighten up the table. So let's remove submitted to user and let's leave all that as it is. And here you can control which column is used to sort by. So let's change it to created and then keep it descending. And then you can also change the number of results per page. So if you have a lot of submissions, you can change it to a hundred, even all the way to a thousand. You can even show all of them. And then in the format settings, you can tweak the header formats and the element format. But just click on save. And now you can see that the columns have been removed that we unchecked. And also the table is a bit tighter, but it's still going off the screen, but that's okay. And then from here, you can filter submissions. So just enter in any keyword. So I will type in Paul for the first name and I get a submission with Paul as the first name. If I also type in ghost, it'll show a submission where ghost has been selected. So the keyword that you enter is searched across all of the elements. And from here, you can filter by submissions which have been starred, unstarred, locked or unlocked. So let's just reset this. And then from here, you can star submissions. You can also lock them up and you can also add a note to them. Now, if you want to star a submission, just click on the star here and it'll flag the submission or star it. If you want to lock a submission, you just click on this little padlock, but then take notes. If you were to edit the submission, it will tell you that the submission has been locked, even if you are logged in as admin. And then from this note icon, you can add in notes. So let's just add in great submission and then click on save. And then if I click on the notes icon again, I see that note that I entered in. Now with the notes, you can only have one note. You can't have it threaded like a comment. So let's just close that. Let's now work our way through all of these operations, but let's just first unlock this submission. And then if you edit it, you can edit the submission. So if I was to enter something into the first name and then click on next page and then click on save, the submission has been updated. If you want to view the whole form on a single page, just click on all, and then each page is simply a field set. Whereas on this page, you have the actual individual pages. And then if you click on view, you can view the submission in multiple formats. So this one is HTML. Up the top here, you have submission information, and then you have the actual submission. If you want to view it in a table format, just click on table and you can view it here in a table format. Then you can view it as plain text. I think you can guess how it's going to be displayed as plain text. And finally, you can view it as a YAML. And here is the submission. Okay, so let's go back, back to operations and then click on notes. Now this is the same notes functionality which we looked at earlier, but you do have a few more options here. So from this notes page, you can flag and lock submissions. Whereas in the other notes page, you can't, you can just add in notes. This is essentially the exact same form, just with a few extra options. And then if you click on resend, you can resend the emails. And then from the message area, you can even modify the email before it gets sent. So this is useful because you can resend confirmation emails. If a customer contacts you for some reason and says, we didn't receive this email, you can easily just fire it off. It's also useful if you are sending emails to some third party SaaS provider, which is converting them into CRM contacts, for example, because I have worked on projects in the past where the client wanted us to fire off emails in a specific format 
to a custom mailbox, then the CRM system would parse those emails and then create contacts out of the data in the email. And so when we were testing things and building things out, I used this feature a lot. It's a very handy feature because, you know, emails do get lost. And then let's go back to operations. And then if you click on duplicate, well, that just duplicates the submission and then delete simply deletes the submission. There is no recycling bin or trash can. When you click on delete, it means the submission has been deleted. And then finally, you have the log page, which gives you a nice access denied. And the reason why we have an access denied is because we haven't turned on submission logs. Now, I must admit this message isn't that helpful because you just get an access denied. And I had to look in the code to find out why it's happening. But to turn on login, all you need to do is go to settings, submissions, and then scroll all the way down until you find log submission events. And then click on save. And then if you go back to results, then log, you get the page, but you don't get any events in there. It won't show events retrospectively. It will only start logging events from now on. So if we were to create a test submission and then go to results and then view the log, you can see that the submission was created and it gives you some information about the email. And then you can view all of the activities from one page. So this will show the activities from all of the submissions. Whereas if you view the log from here, it will only show you for this specific submission. So if you wanna download the submissions, just click on the download tab. And from here, you can download all the submissions in a CSV format. Now, most of these options you will probably tweak. So everyone's gonna tweak it depending on their requirements. But the most important section is the column options. So this will allow you to add or remove columns from the CSV. So you may not want all of the columns, so you can easily come here, uncheck them, and then hit save settings to save that configuration. Or if you wanna download the CSV, just click on download. And then from the clear tab, you can delete all the submissions. Again, there is no recycling bin or trash can. Once you click on clear, it clears it all. So that's pretty much it in regards to submissions. You can view the submissions from here, you can download the submissions from this page, you can clear the submissions from here, and you can view the activities of all the submissions from this page.